What's good, y'all? Um, so before the video even starts, I just want to show my appreciation and say thank you guys for almost 3k subs. Ever since I started being consistent, you guys have been showing mad love and just going crazy. So I appreciate all that. And yeah, I just appreciate everything that you guys have been doing, showing support to the kids, commenting, all that stuff. Also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it helps the channel. And let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in future videos. And yes, also, if you guys want to collab with me, DM me on Instagram for spots in my Zoom collabs that I'm doing with some people. So if you guys would like to cop a spot, it is limited. Just DM me and let me know. Also, if you guys like any of the sounds used in my videos, click the links down below for my waist supply links um to all my kits and yes with that being said let's get straight into the video so i think in this video we're gonna be making something in the style of like can um or like yeet just like that type of style like some fire like underground stuff but i just kind of want to add my own take on it so with that being said we're gonna start off with a sound from my new serum bank on um, the activate serum bank also if you guys did purchase this send me a copy of your receipt on my instagram just proof that you bought it um and i'm gonna send you a free kit yes but it's only valid till the end of the month so if you buy guys buy it on the first of like the next month it doesn't count um so with this i'm just gonna start off with some basic chords probably and then we're gonna go ahead and build off that <laughs> okay so now we have that we're gonna go ahead and layer it with some more stuff The second sound is from me and um, Synthetics Kinetic Serum Bank. So if you guys want to check that out, I definitely recommend you do it. It has some fire stuff. So now we have this layered. Um, we're going to keep adding a little bit of sounds. I think I'm about to get a plug and then think of like a pattern for it. So with this ARP, I'm going to go into Shaper Box and we're about to add like some crazy effects on it. Some big crush then probably some reverb maybe a tiny bit of delay i really i really mess with this is the uh the they're the same people that make the um the big crush that i always use it's the kilo hearts delay i'm gonna go through some of the Yeah, it sounds super fire. Then I think I'm gonna get some, maybe some relay on it. Then from there, I think I'm gonna get probably a little bit of Pan Man just to make it kind of do a crazy effect. So Pan's left to right sounding like really bouncy. So now I'm gonna think of some catchy elements just to add on top. And with this repetitive synth, I'm gonna go ahead and add more shaper box. Yeah, so this is sounding fire so far. Um, I'm probably gonna get a lead just to add some more catchy elements to the actual sample. So now I'm gonna go into me and Shark Boy's um, Sense One Shot Kit, and I'm gonna get a like, like a little bass thing to just add in the pockets. So I layered the lead with this like one shot from me and Shark Boy's kit, and I'm gonna do something weird with it. So now that we have the loop pretty much built out, um, I'm going to go ahead and export each sound as its own individual wave um, and then just arrange it just so we can have some variation in the beat. I'm going to try to pitch everything down too. Okay, so with the drums, I'm going to go into Chemix kit collection. Shout out to Chemix for sending this to me. And we're going to go ahead and get like a little bounce going. So we're going to get a simple clap pattern going. So 
So I did something a little unique with the clap pattern. Um, as you can see, there's like a little bit more claps in it than just a normal, just boring clap pattern. Also with the hi-hats, as you could hear, um, I kind of switched from like a normal hi-hat um, to a perk pattern, which I think just makes it sound kind of crazy. <laughs> So now I'm going to add some hi-hat rolls. So what I did right here is basically I turned on the velocities of the normal uh, hi-hats up here and then I added these little porta notes just to kind of give it a slide. With the hi-hats too, I also added some delay. I'm just gonna EQ some of the lows out of the actual melody. So then I'm gonna have the 808 bounce kinda do something unique. So as you can see, I have like the 808s kind of switching to this and then a sub bass. And then we're gonna do this. Alright y'all, so that's pretty much how I make a beat like for can or yeet from scratch. So from this video, I really hope you guys pulled something. Remember, like I said, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always reading the comments and what you guys say, so definitely do that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I appreciate you guys and I love you. Yes sir. Yes sir.